What's going on guys? My name's Mitch Robs, and today we are going to revisit Canny Valley Endurance. So, uh, it's been a few months since I've done my Canny Valley Endurance, and a lot of trap I'm not gonna say trap changes, but a lot of, uh, the meta changes in terms of, uh, traps and Fortnite Save the World have changed up a little bit. So I want to revisit my Canny Amps and reduce the structures on them, make them a little less confusing, and update anything that's changed. For example, I know, um, a amp or a sinkhole amp down there the waterfall terrain moved once for some unforsaken reason so we're gonna go over exactly what has changed and stuff like that and what exactly we're gonna be doing for my new amps so this will be a, a step-by-step build of northwest amp west and that's what the amp we're gonna start off with um but yeah let's go get to it we're gonna take this step by step and i'm gonna build this exactly with you guys so that you guys uh who complain about it being really hard to build uh, can have a little guide to follow along with. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to do our pathway of our amp. So I have some metal here. This is just because it is going to be an expensive, uh, expensive amp. I agree with that, but it's going to be worth it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our pathway together. So I would use this uh, amplifier as a reference point. This is going to mark the center of our um, design. So I'm gonna place a wall here and a wall here. Okay? So we're gonna we're gonna do that for the both sides. This is going to allow us to um, get our pathway. So here we have this wall, this wall, and then we're gonna start with a floor down right here. This is gonna be the start of our pathway. So one, two, there. And then we're going to uh, go one tile farther, one tile off to the left, one tile farther and then one tile off to the left. And I believe that's the pathway that we're going to be using. And we're going to mirror that on the other side. So we're going to go one tile here, two tiles, three tiles, four tiles, one tile forward, and then we're there. Okay. And then uh, you'll see at this cliff drop. So that's going to be our pathway of our husks. We're basically going to uh, lead them in a straight, uh, two different pathways, a split pathway, as straight as possible. And then we're going to converge them into one tunnel. All right, so now let's actually build the tunnels. So we're gonna come over here to this right tunnel. Both these are gonna be symmetrical tunnels and they're gonna mirror each other. So if you have trouble with one of the builds, I'll go a little bit quicker on the second one, but if you have trouble with one of them, uh, just look at the other. So first things first, we're gonna build a little box right here. This is gonna have sound walls on it. So there's gonna be two different types of sound walls. We're gonna have a double reload speed. Um, you can have all durability on that. I think I have that particular role. Where is it? All durability, two times reload speed. So let's craft a couple of those real quick. And we're going to have a single reload uh, all durability wall, uh, sound wall. So that's the single reload. This is going to be the double reload. We're then going to have a wall launcher onto the right. This is going to be an all durability, two times reload speed wall launcher. Our entire goal with this wall launcher is to boop uh, propane husks in here and get their uh, propane taken off of them. We're also going to have a two times sound wall, two times uh, reload speed, uh, all durability sound wall right here on this wall and in on a wall right here. Okay, so let me actually do this real quick. I'm going to re-roll these traps into the, uh, the particular ones that we need. So there. All right. So then we're going to have a blue wooden floor spike down here. So these blue wooden floor spikes that I have are going to be all durability, no uh, investment into the physical perk. We're going to keep going forward. There's going to be another blue wooden floor spike. There's going to be an all durability wall launcher on the right. Another all durability wall launcher on the right. And then this is going to be another blue wooden floor spike. We're going to look to the uh, north. There's going to be two tiles here. These are both going to have uh, flame floor grill traps on it. Uh, the lead, the crit rating, crit damage, damage reload speed kind and effect duration. These are going to be both right here. We're going to create sort of a timeout room AOE tunnel. So then we're going to have a wall surrounding it. Then we're going to have an edited low wall right here. This is going to be uh, our little basic like timeout room that we normally do and we're going to have a uh, crit rating crit damage reload speed and damage uh, wall darts on each of these back walls and then on the, uh, the little edited low wall we're going to have our uh, wall dynamos that are going to have reload speed on them <laughs> on top above 
uh, for our ceiling tiles, we're going to have uh, ceiling electric fields, which are going to have reload speed, crit rating, damage, crit damage, and then durability on the last perk. I'm just too lazy to change my uh, ceiling electric field, so they still have the building health on it, but put durability on it. We're going to keep going forward in the tunnel. There's going to be a wall to the right. This is going to have uh, a wall dynamo on it. This is going to be a double crit rating, double crit damage wall dynamo, if I can find it. There's going to be a wall that has a window edited to the middle. Um, we're going to attach a wall behind that, a wall here. And uh, this is going to have a four times impact, one times reload speed and effect duration wall light on it. And behind it's going to have a double crit damage, double crit rating uh, wall dart. And same on this wall, there's going to be a double crit rating, double crit damage wall dart. And we can uh, now place a floor and a cone here and edit the cone facing the northwest. Alright. So above this tile, we're still going to have a ceiling electric field. This is going to AoE somewhat into the timeout rooms that we have right here. So it's going to AoE into here and it's going to be able to hit husks that are standing right here. At this point in the tunnel, you really shouldn't have too many regular husks. You should only have basically smashers. So we're going to have a tar pit. A tar pit to the left. We're going to have a... I want to say we're going to make this a... Um, what's it called? Wall dynamo. We can make it a wall dart. Let's make it a wall dart. So we'll do a double crit rating, double crit damage wall dart. Right here is going to be a... Um, Wall delight. So a four times impact, one times real speed wall light. And above is going to be a double crit rating, double crit damage uh, ceiling zapper. We're going to keep going forward. There's going to be a tar pit. So there's going to be a tar pit here. We're going to have an edited window here. And there's going to be a wall light as well uh, here. So we're going to have the wall light here. And then on this wall, we're going to have a window. We're going to have... Actually, no, take that back. We're not going to have the wall light there. We're going to have a dynamo there. We're going to have a double crit rating, double crit damage uh, wall dynamo. So let's find that. And then we're going to have the wall light on this wall. Because uh, when we stagger them, we want them pushed backwards, not off to the left. Above is going to be a ceiling zapper. And then we're going to keep going through the tunnel. We're then going to have a tar pit on this wall behind. We're going to have an edited window. And then behind that, we're going to have a wall. This is going to have a wall dart on it. Ah, no, we, let's not do that. We don't need that because of the block off later. We'll just have a wall dart on here. Double crit rating, double crit damage wall dart. And above is going to be a ceiling zapper. <laughs> now, this is going to be an interesting one. So we're going to attach a, a ceiling above. We're going to place a damaging uh, wall drop trap or ceiling drop trap. This is going to have crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, and durability. We're going to place that above. We're going to place a wall out there. That's going to have a wall dart on it. A double crit rating, double crit damage wall dart. Attached to that, I'm just going to build a temporary floor here. We're going to put a wall and a wall off to the side. These are both going to have double crit rating, double crit damage uh, wall darts on it. Alright, so those are going to shoot through these windows into this tunnel. Alright, so that should be one half of our tunnel. So it's basically a double timeout room, and then it's going to be smasher killing tunnels with the ceiling zappers, wall lights, wall darts, uh, and dynamo combos. Now let's work on the left side. So it's going to be the same thing mirrored, so we'll go over it a little bit more quickly. So we're going to have a wall here with a wall launcher. This is going to be all durability, two times reload speed. Into a timeout room with um, different reload speed. What are these called? Sound walls. So where's that? Reload speed. Alright. We're going to keep going forward. There's going to be two walls with all durability, two times reload. Uh, blue wooden floor spikes. Uh, flame grill traps. We're going to surround this in walls. These are going to have wall uh, darts with the reload speed on it. This is going to be an edited low wall with uh, dynamos on it with the reload speed. And above is going to be the ceiling electric fields. 
We're going to keep going on into this tunnel. There's going to be a edited wall with a window in it. Edited wall with a window in it. A regular wall. Edited wall with a window in it. And edited wall with a window in it. And then we're going to cover that. We probably shouldn't cover that just yet. All right. So behind each of these um, windows, we're going to have a wall um, behind it. So the wall darts can shoot into it. So we're going to go place all those uh, walls behind it. So behind each of these windows, there's going to be a wall behind it. We're then going to place a wall light here on this particular wall. This is going to be four times impact, one times reload speed. A wall light here. And a wall light here. We're going to then place a uh, dynamo, uh, the double crit rating, double crit damage kind, right here. Right here. And right here. We're then going to place uh, tar pits on the ground on each of these floor tiles. We're then going to go onto those walls that uh, for wall darts that shoot through the windows. And we're going to put the double crit rating, double crit damage wall darts. Great. Actually, so I think... Yeah, we're going to make this one a crit. Uh, we're going to replace this wall. We're going to make it a wall dart right here. Let me place. There we go. So that's going to be a double crit rating, double crit da uh, damage wall dart. And then on the back of this is going to be a, a reload speed wall dart. Above on the ceiling tiles, we're then going to place uh, ceiling zappers. The double crit rating, double crit damage ceiling zappers. And that should be our uh, both our tu damaging tunnels. So, I mean, it's really not, I'm not going to say it's not complex, but it's definitely uh, going to be a simpler tunnel than uh, most. You're basically just having a double timeout room on each side, and then we're going to have smasher killer um, timeout rooms, or uh, wall light stuns. All right. So now we have to think about block off. Block off on this amp is going to be extensive. Um, I'm just going to throw that out there. It's going to be extensive. There's not much I can do about that, because uh, you need them to path down this area, and there's a huge area that we have to block off. So we're going to start here. We're going to have a wall, 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 and here. So there's going to be three walls and then a wall right here. We're going to have an edited cone piece facing the southwest, and then a cone facing the west. We're going to have two floor tiles underneath those cones, and they're going to be edited facing the uh, with the two tiles taken up from the west. We're going to have a wall edited like this. So it's going to have the two tiles on the bottom right still there. And we're going to place it here. Everything else right here is going to get taken out by spawns. So we uh, this is the minimum, like the maximum that we can put in this area. All right. And then we also have to put the sound walls here. I forgot about those, but they're going to be uh, the all durability two times reload speed on both sides. Okay. So now we have that. We're going to fill this out with uh, cones facing the southwest. So cones facing the southwest in a row. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to surround each of those in walls. Except for on the natural ter terrain side. So right here we wouldn't place it because we have no need for block off because they're not going to walk straight through this wall. So we're going to surround those in walls. We're then going to uh, go over here towards the northeast, um, to the e north of these. And we're going to place a cone facing the northwest, a cone facing the south, or facing the west, a cone facing the west, then a cone facing the southwest. And we're going to surround this in walls, except for on natural terrain sides. OK. We're going to then take a step forward to the west. We're going to place a, a wall, a cone facing the southwest, and that should be fine. We're going to take a, a step all the way back to the east, and we're going to fill this in with uh, the same little structure that we just had right here. So uh, cone, cone facing the west, cone facing the west, and then cone facing the southwest and surrounded in walls, except for on the natural terrain side. And that should be your right side block off. We're also going to come all the way over here to the northwest. You're going to have this little ugly little terrain over here. And we're going to place a wall uh, in a two by one area. So we're going to surround that in walls. 
We're going to place a cone facing the southeast and a cone facing the southwest. This is going to serve as block off purposes for flingers because they're going to want to path this way. But this is going to make them path all the way down here, which is where we want them to go for the flingers. So once they path all the way down here, their option is to walk along this pathway, the flingers, walk all the way over here and throw towards the amplifier. So we're going to actually make a little bit of a recycling system for them. We're going to place a floor, 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 wall here. We're going to place a wall here. And then we're going to have two ramps going up like this. We're going to then place a tar pit here. A three times impact, two times reload speed wall launcher. A three times impact, two times reload speed wall launcher. An edited uh, wall piece here. And then we're going to have two floor launchers. Uh, one's going to be, I think we can make them uh, one, a four times impact, one times reload speed right here. And then the other one's going to be a, well, hold on. This one's going to be the three times impact, uh, two times reload speed. And the other one's going to be four times impact, one times reload speed. So here's the four times impact, one times reload speed. And then this is going to be the three times impact, two times reload speed one. So this three times impact, two times reload speed one, will shoot them all the way up here and boop them off. And then the four times impact one will be on different reload speed timers than this wall launcher. So they'll stagger their timing. So let's see which one it is. Three times impact. There we go. And that should be our little flinger recycler. Because flingers will walk legitimately a mile to uh, go uh, like throw at your amplifier. So we're going to give them a pathway to go. But we're going to infinitely recycle them so that they have to keep walking back up that pathway. And another way we're going to be doing that is we're going to place two walls at the top of this ramp. So it's going to be a little bit to the northeast of it. There's going to be two walls. A cone piece facing the northwest. A wall. We're going to place a cone. Or a floor and then a cone. And that should be it. Um, for our little block off right here. So that they don't walk up this. So the only place that they can throw from. Is over here. Uh, along this edge. And throwing towards the amplifier. And uh, this is going to allow us to path them that exact way. So now we're going to go over to the right side block off. Let me pick up some metal real quick. We're going to come over here. We're going to start our block off right here. We're going to place a wall and a wall. These are going to both have, uh, which I suggest that you guys get these as well. We're going to have double crit rating, double crit damage wall dynamos with heels built attached on it. Right? So depending on where your AFK spot is, uh, for example, mine used to be right over there on the um, top of home base south uh so assassin husks would like to beat on these walls particularly and try to get to me right they weren't going for the amplifier so it was the little husklings and gunslingers and pitchers so what i've uh so i have these here for your afk spot but my afk spot's going to be up in that ufo looking tower above sinkhole so these won't be necessary for me but if you have the different afk spot for me you have to take that into account so behind our uh, easternmost wall, we're going to make a half sandwich. And we're going to have a cone facing the northwest. This is going to ensure that nothing breaks through this. We're then going to go to the top of this double ramp, and we're going to go down one. We're going to place wall, wall, wall. So three walls across. We're going to go down another step. There's going to be walls all the way across, three walls like this. We're then going to keep going behind it. There's going to be a wall. Uh, facing the north and the south. A cone facing the southwest. Cone facing the south. Or towards the wet. Or towards the northwest. Oh my gosh, what am I talking about? Cone facing the northwest. And this is going to be surrounded in walls. We're going to have a wall here. A wall right here. So this is going to have no cone in the middle of this little one by one. <laughs> We're going to have a wall here, so there's going to be no cone in this one by one. We're going to have a cone facing the northwest, cone facing the southwest. And that's going to be surrounded in walls. We're going to have a cone facing the northwest, cone facing the west, and a cone facing the southwest. And then we're going to have walls behind it. We're then going to do that one more time, cone facing the northwest, 
Cone facing the west. Cone facing the southwest. And this should be all the block off in this little area that you need. We're then going to come up here behind this wall that's uh to the north of the double ramp. We're going to add a cone facing the northwest, surrounded in walls. We're going to take a step behind it. There's going to be another cone, face it towards the northwest. And then we're going to have another cone uh, facing the northwest and surrounded in walls, except for on the natural terrain side. So there should be three of these little sandwiches here. We're going to go all the way down here um, at the bottom of this little ramp to the south of the build. And we're going to come down to here to this ugly terrain right here. Another flinger problem that you could potentially have on this ramp is flingers might want to come all the way over here, down this ramp, down this ramp, over here, through here, over here, and then walk towards the amp this way and throw. So we're going to try to prevent that with a little bit of block off. So we're going to have a wall at the front of this, a ramp, and then a wall. We're then going to have one wall right in this little spot right here. So I'll back up so you guys can see it a little bit better, give you a little overview. But it should be wall, ramp, wall, and then a wall right there. This is going to provide additional layerage so they don't go that path and they'll go that uh, far north side path. Okay. So that should be uh, take care of our flinger problems on the right side. We're then going to talk about our spawn trap and our lobber shield, right? Because, I mean, realistically, you don't need too much of a lobber shield on this amp. Uh, it's so far away from uh, the amplifier that you can get away with, like, the spawn trapping being our lobber shield. But uh, what we are going to do first is, I think I forgot about this little middle block off, is we're going to make this block off. So we're just going to put full or half sandwiches in here. So one, two, three. And we're going to place a floor, then a cone facing the uh, west. So there should be four of these little uh, half sandwiches here. And then there should be a floor under the fourth one. We're actually then going to go under these builds and... Uh, support this build a little bit more right so what's preventing a husk from breaking through this floor and then walking straight to the amplifier um we well we have to figure out a way to do that right so we have to add additional layering down here to prevent them from doing that so we're going to place a wall here a cone uh with the diagonals taken out we call this a dorito shape don't ask me who came up with the name but it's a dorito and then we're going to place a wall around that. We're going to do the... We're going to place a wall at the edge of this double ramp. A wall right here. And then we're going to place another Dorito. And we're going to surround it in walls. This is going to provide a, uh, enough in disincentive to break through those floors. That we can path them uh, the way we want them to. We're then going to do the bottom of this tunnel. So we also have to path them down towards the amplifier. Which I haven't gone over yet. So, this is going to be a little bit tricky to build for y'all, but um, we're going to drop them down to uh, two layers. So, we're going to go one, two, and then place a floor. Like this. So, it should be dropped down two layers. We're going to have a tar pit right here, and then we're going to have two broadsides on either side. And then we're going to have a uh, dynamo here. This is going to be a double crit rating, double crit damage dynamo. We're then going to do the same exact thing down again. We're going to waterfall down. Uh, but we don't have to necessarily do it as extensive this time. Uh, because, uh, what was I going to say? It, because, like, um, like we can land on the floor right here. And then we're going to place a tar pit, broadside on either side, and then a dynamo. We're then going to find this wall dart that we placed earlier. And we're going to waterfall down one with it, and then we're going to place a ceiling above. We're then going to place a damaging ceiling drop trap, so the crit rating, crit damage, uh, damage, reload speed, durability one, and we're going to place it there. And then I like to just finish it off by going down like this. You don't really have to. But this should be uh, all you uh, necessarily need. And then we'll put a wall dart here, actually. So we'll put a double crit rating, double crit damage. This is for you guys that have lower durability, this section of the tunnel. The husks barely make it to, I think, about right here in my tunnel. The smashers, even on wave 30. 
Um, but if you have lower durability, this trap tunnel is going to go out uh, a lot sooner than mine is. So they could potentially get right here. And this trap tunnel right here is for killing smashers and getting them out uh, killed before they get to your amplifier. We're then going to surround our amplifier and walls. Uh, there's nothing special to this one. There's no guaranteed mini boss wave, and I haven't ever actually seen a mini boss down here. So uh, we just have a simple build around it, just a plus around the amplifier. Now we're going to actually get to the lobber shield and um, into the spawn trap. Finally. <laughs> All right. So a lot of this, I'm going to be real with y'all, looks like a pee pee. Um, the way it worked. So I used to not have these two sound walls here, and we called this PP pee -pee amplifier because it looked like a dang PP. -pee. So there was three high, and then there was the balls right there, and there's the shaft. All right. Uh, so I, I actually want to call this PP -pee amplifier, but I'm going to get demonetized for that. So this is Northwest amplifier for right now. All right. So we're going to go up too high above the sound wall timeout room. Too high above it all the way around. Okay. So we're going to do that on the other side as well. Uh, we're going to then go all the way up top and we're going to place two floors above it. Alright. So simple enough. We're then going to go out one, two, three tiles. And we're just going to fill all of this in right here. Three tiles lied. All right, so that should be our um, our main spawn trapping. We'll have like a little bit of a spawn trapping here, and I'll show you guys how to build it in a second. But just know this is PP amplifier for a reason. Uh, there's gonna be a PP shape in this for the um, for the spawn trap. We're then gonna come all the way over here, and we're gonna connect our block or our lobber shield here. So we're going to place a cone, and I like to edit the cones. Uh, so that it like is already into a ramp piece. We're going to edit the cone and we're going to come all the way over here and we're just going to go too high with it. So that should be our right side lobber shield and that's all you're going to need for the right, right side. And we don't need anything actually on this left side over here. Uh, that's all good. All right. All right. So now that we have that, we're going to then place um, our spawn trapping uh, ceiling drop traps. I have these double durability ones. Um, if you're really lacking on uh, durability on your traps, uh, which I have I have pretty high trap durability with my survivor squads, we're going to have these ceiling drop traps. These are going to be all durability rolls, um, which I suggest you do if you don't have uh, double durability ones, like if you don't have the durability like I do. So we're going to place these for me too. So we're going to place these all right here. So we're going to have a line of three right here. We're going to uh, skip one tile right there. We're going to go right here and we're going to like leave a PP shape right here. So three far or four far or three far. And then we're going to have uh, the rest of the tiles filled in. So boop, boop, boop. There and there. Okay. So it should leave a little PP shape right there. And then we'll have another one right here. So it's a tiny PP shape. All right. We're going to get then go over this timeout room and we're going to place uh, these uh, ceiling drop traps as well. And boop. And that should be our lobber shield and our uh, spawn trap. I don't know if there's anything else left on this amp to cover. I think we went over basically everything. Um, so we went over this left side block off in the flat, uh, flinger area. We went over the block off. We went over the spawn trap, we went over the tunnels, and we went over this. I think that's everything to this amp, realistically. You basically just path them down these two timeout rooms, they get hit by spawn trap, they get hit by these timeout rooms, and then they're smasher killers, and they come down here. I think we also have a little bit of block off over here, real quick. Um, is we have, at this little, uh, if we go to the little south of the amplifier, there's going to be a little 2x2 two two opening right here. We're just going to place a wall, wall. Cone facing the southeast, cone facing the southwest, and then there's going to be walls behind it. And this is just going to prevent uh, be extra layering in case anything wants to path down this way and then through here. 
and as well as it's going to provide layering for the home base west amplifier one little uh, spot that I forgot to mention um, as I'm going through upgrading this is there's supposed to be a, if we come to the back side of the tunnel, right, on the left side, there's going to be a little cone or there's going to be a wall and a wall here towards the back side of the tunnel. And we're going to need a cone right here facing the southwest. Uh, this is to prevent the husks from beating through this wall and then being through another wall and be able to go through the tunnel. So this cone needs to be here. All right, that should be it for this amplifier. We'll be going over Northwest Amp North uh, next. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys like this video, remember to like the video um, and comment down below which amplifiers you want me to go over next. And consider subscribing to the channel. I'll be coming out with content like this all the time. All right, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Uh, if you guys want to join a community, I do have a Discord channel down below or a Discord link down below. Consider joining that server and consider watching me on Twitch. I have a live stream there and we do endurance. We do MSK, a lot of different things. All right, to lose.